How's everybody's morning going? Good. Good. Harrison sophomore Riley Legner has a special love for the eight people in this room. Every single day when I come in here, these kids are just a joy to be around and they bring me happiness. Riley has volunteered with the special education class since the sixth grade. This year, she's doing an independent study to create a more inclusive school environment for students with special needs. It led to Harrison's first acceptance week. I walked in the door today and I was met by Riley with yellow on. On Monday, we had people wear two different socks to show that we're individual and that we can all be unique in our own way. And then on Tuesday, we had Tie-Dye Tuesday, which represents every single disability because all of the disabilities out there, they're each a different color. And then on Wednesday, we welcome somebody new to sit with us at lunch. Thursday, everyone wore green to promote unity. It quickly spread worldwide. We had um, my uncle, he's in South Korea, and he wore green in all of his troops. We had people in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia all wear green. Riley also created yellow shirts for everyone to wear Friday. They sold out. This effort is just the beginning. The first step of all of this is to bring awareness, and then after that, you make the change, and then it just turns out to be acceptance. Everyone is being encouraged to wear their yellow at tonight's game. The gates open at 730, and all the Special Olympians will be introduced and honored at tonight's game. Riley says that in a couple of months, they'll even start a mentorship program here at the school. Alexis Rogers, WLWT News 5.